Hey there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and I'm squeezed into this video here but if I stand aside and say this is a quick look at my currently ever expanding notebook collection. So, well, as you may know from my other videos, if you're looking at this and you could well have come across some of these videos so far of all the individual ones of all the different brands we've got on this shelf and well, I suppose we'll dive in and first things first I'm going to have an absolute blitz through these and try and name all of the companies in order. Right, unspecified, Elba, uh, classic just standard uh, pad, uh, Oxford pad, Knock Knock, Dodo pad, uh, Dodo pad, Field Notes, Filofax, uh, non-branded, Fabio Ricci, Cartizio, uh, Moleskin, Evernote Moleskin, Dot Grid, non-branded, Collins, Filofax, uh, that's a very old, I believe, 1970s or 1980s candophile uh, organiser. Uh, Non-branded um, Wainwright Walker's Notebook. Uh, Mood, Siak, Jack, uh, Snugpack, Field Notes, Moleskin, Field Notes, Field Notes, Field Notes, Moleskin, Scout Books, uh, Flex by Filofax, uh, Midori, and then Flex by Filofax and more Moleskins. Oh, um, yes, phew. So that was a deep breath needed there. And if we pop this back up, let's see a few of the um, prime examples. Now, I'm going to stand well back so that I'm not poking into the camera angle, hopefully. And I'll say, first of all, I've got to show you my lovely little Midori passport um, travel notebook. Now, this is the Star Edition. And, well, you can see the video of the unboxing and closer look of this. I only got this yesterday, but if we pop it open and have a look, I've got a few various inserts that I've added already. And, well, I mean, I've already made a good start. Like I say, I only got it yesterday, but we shall have a lot more on this and um, just the Midori system in general. We've got the um, unmarked months of view calendars here. But I really do love this so far. I mean, this is just absolutely fantastic. It's just everything about it is like, well, as I've said in the previous video, it's got a sort of... Indiana Jones feel about it, like as if this is the sort of notebook you're going to find on some long abandoned archaeology site somewhere. Um, so I really do absolutely love the Midori and I'm going to be using this an awful lot, but like I say, I'm already into my third page and I've only stepped down to writing it once. Um, something of note, uh, I've got another Midori, I've got the lined notebook refill here and I've noticed that the scout books are pretty much the exact size. They are very, very slightly taller and maybe a millimetre thinner, if that. And, well, to me, now, I've suddenly got all of these books. I've got another six here that are going to fit nice and snugly into the Midori. So that's definitely a um, handy thing to know. Uh, something I am using at the minute an awful lot is, if I can pop that back in, trying desperately not to send all these flying everywhere. Um, something I'm using and really enjoying is uh, this uh, Field Notes Expedition Edition. And, well, basically this is the uh, waterproof paper one. I'm not going to show you what's in it just yet, but um, if we flip to the back so I can show you, it's uh, got a dark grid pattern and it's got, uh, as they call it, uposynthetic paper, which is waterproof and tearproof. And, well, it's quite interesting to write on, and it makes uh, makes me bio look very interesting. Uh, I don't know, it's almost like writing on very sort of firm rubber somehow. Um, but that's the book that I'm taking around with me everywhere at the minute, especially as we're heading into winter. This one is always in my bag. Um, oh, yes, if you're wondering why all of my notebooks are here, I've tried to gather up everything that I'm using um, to put them with the things that are in the wings waiting to come out as well. So that's why this is here. Um, these little notebooks at the front I use, um, particular uh, this Flex by Filofax uh, diary is always in use and it's where I keep all of the, um, basically this is my log of every time that I move uh, Tilly I keep a tab of it and keep just general things for reference in this which is probably going to be moved into the Midori but anyway let us keep this video rolling as I don't want it to be five hours long. Um, so yes, if you're wondering, yes, a lot of these videos are normally out on the boat or just in my bag or out and about anywhere with me. And well, obviously I can't carry all these and I'm obviously not going to be using all of these notebooks all the time in one go. Um, so let's have a look. What else have we got? Uh, 
the uh, packs of three uh, multi, and I believe they're the Kai uh, notebooks, the cardboard cover ones. Those I'm also uh, using constantly at the minute. But like I say, hopefully, um, things like that I'm going to fetch all into the uh, Midori. And, well, something that I am... Uh, what I do use, this is from the back of my A5 Domino Filofax here. And basically, I've taken out this uh, sheet, uh, the little pad of paper at the back. As you can see, nice simple lined paper, but all hole punched so it can go straight in the Filofax. And basically, what this is here is the list of, similar to that, this is every time I move the boat, I add it to the list here. And then, well, you can see the, bizarrely, the highlighter is all fading away and practically gone in some parts. But this basically is my other reference of, right, all in a big list, where did I move, where was the boat at this date? So that's another thing that's always on the boat. Um, and, well, at the minute, I'm really enjoying the Moleskin Evernote uh, team-up. I've only recently started using Evernote, and, well, I'll show you a video on that sometime soon. But as you may be familiar, I want to try and keep this very careful, because I don't want to show you too much, but here... These have got uh, stickers in the back that come with the book. And basically, if you stick one on the page, when you take a photo and enter this into the Evernote software, you can set what these categories, uh, what categories are related to the pictures. So it'll automatically say, stick that into my current writing file and tag it with certain words and that sort of thing. So that's quite a nice little uh, touch. And well, I just, I really do like the cover of this. I don't know if you can see this all the sort of embossed details there. Oh, speaking of embossed, it's not here yet, but I'm hoping very soon I will have a notebook with my own name on it. Um, well, we'll see how that goes and what it looks like, but that could be a nice little touch. Um, but more on that in the future, so stay tuned for that, as well as me 23 karat gold pen, like I say. If we pop it open, like I say, this I'm using at the minute to just put all sorts of bits and pieces down in. Things like, oh, I don't want to show you that page. Um, things like uh, poems that I'm working on, which normally I put in uh, something like this. But because I've been trying to get a lot of uh, proper sort of, I don't know, good quality stuff written, if, you, if you'll, um, well, not take from that that I mean the stuff I normally write isn't good quality. Um, but I'm trying to just do a little bit more sort of, I don't know, bigger poems. And I'm also planning all my uh, YouTube videos out in this at the minute. So we'll pop that back on the shelf there. Um, something I will just draw attention to. I really do like this uh, Cartesio notebook as it has got the longest bookmark that I've ever seen on one of these large notebooks. You can see it's uh, very similar to the Fabio Ricci and the standard large moleskin notebook. Yet, for some reason, the tail on this thing is absolutely enormous. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot to be said about a lot of these. Um, the original Filofax that I've got there, I've kept that in its uh, plastic cover for the time being while it's not being used, but that is very nice. I recommend you check that out. Um, well, I don't know, there's so much to say. Um, knock Knock, I'm a big fan of. They have sort of a good series of very humorous um, notebooks and things like that, which you might enjoy. And Well, such items as well. I suppose I'd better show you a couple of the pens, such as the Procrastination Pen. Do it later. Beautiful. Um, but, well, like I say, there's an awful lot of stuff. The Walker's Notebook. Check out my video on that, because that's quite nice. Um, I don't want to just plug my own stuff in here as well. Um, like I say, I'm awaiting a lot more to go into the collection here. But something that um, I've handed it to my friend for the time being, but check out my uh, Noodle Notebook review. Or check out the Noodle website. It's spelled um, N-O-O-D-O-L-L. And they have like the most adorable sort of cute caricatures and little notebooks, like sort of cardboard cover notebooks that come with um, little cardboard character bookmarks. And they are just fantastic. So that's Noodle. I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, but if we have a look down here, um, not only have we got my childhood cherished teddy bear, Bobo's there, with one eye, bless him. Um, but also we've got my rather nice little uh, desk tidy. Good old-fashioned, um, I don't know if that's brass finishings there, but good old-fashioned wood desk tidy. And, well, obviously being me, a nice astronomy finish. Um, but what I've got here are just a few of my um, pens. I've left a lot of them on the boat, I forgot to fetch back. But what we have got here, like I say, you've got the uh, knock-knock pen there. 
um, a lot of uh, field notes pens and these are nice simple straightforward um, click pens but once again I quite like the field notes brand in simple black silver with white um, writing so that's all very pleasant I've no, well, at the minute, until my uh, cross pen gets here, these are the pens that I'm using most. And, well, I've got a few other bits and pieces, obviously, a lot of Field Notes pencils. And, well, what I'm a huge fan of are these Palomino Blackwings. And, well, these, um, I believe, are what uh, Bugs Bunny and things like that were originally drawn in. That's their um, claim to fame. But they've got the rather fancy uh, rectangular eraser at the end that you can remove... And quite interestingly, it comes in a little uh, metal cradle, so you can change these out or switch them around depending on how, they've, how you've been using them. And well, like I say, I'm a big fan of these, and these are what I used to um, design my little personal logo when I was just, well, sat down and ended up just thinking, oh, all right, I'll try and draw something. For some reason, it ended up being about a two-hour process of writing my own three initials. Um, for what use that was, I've no idea, and what it's ever going to be used for, once again, no idea. Um, just speaking of the Palominos, it's uh, worth noting, I've got the uh, Blackwing uh, two-stage sharpener as well, for the long point sharpener. And, well, it's got to be said, I never knew that sharpening a pencil could be such a technical uh, challenge. And it's got to be said, though, fair play. I have some very long pointed pencils, so it's not lying when it says it's a long point sharpener. <laughs> um, also, just a random note here, I've got a couple of these um, delightful little pocket mod uh, print it yourself customizable organizers here, which just for interest sake I printed those out. And well, I suppose just randomly, I'm not going to show you what it says on the top there, but this is a little uh, classic stamper with my um, address on it. That I must have been using since, well, since before I left college. Um, many, many years ago I did uh, have an eBay shop, believe it or not, selling vintage Star Wars figures and accessories. And that went on for about two years and I did sell literally thousands of tiny plastic guns. Amazing, uh, believe it or not. And so these, well, this, the time saved and this stamping on all of the envelopes as the return address I definitely recommend, if you're into any sort of sending a lot of stuff and a lot of posts, one of these is absolutely ideal. Um, anyway, I suppose I'm going to wrap this up because we're already approaching our 13th minute. Um, like I say, there's a lot more to come from this. You're going to be seeing a lot more on the Midori because this is absolutely fantastic. And, well, oh, it does like, come with a nice little layer cloth case as well, which... Once again, it just adds that, it's all the Midori sort of stamp of quality, I suppose. But, like I say, if you want to see more on that, or in fact any of these, then check out my uh, videos. I'll leave my notebook, file facts, moleskin, and just general notebook playlist in the video description below. And like I say, you'll see absolutely tons of videos on all of these. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this if you are a uh, notebook fanatic such as myself. If not, then you're probably feeling pretty bemused by it all. And, well, until the next time, make sure you subscribe to my Facebook page. Uh, like the Facebook page, rather. Subscribe to the videos. And, well, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around soon. Till the next time, farewell.